In this video, I will be discussing about the problem single operation part 2 from the Code Chef Long Challenge of the, the October Long Challenge. The question say, states that Chef has a binary representation S of a number X with him. He can modify the number applying the operation following operation exactly once that is X becomes X or X by 2 to the power Y and the range of Y is from 1 to the length of S and Zor denotes the bit by Zor. We all know that. Chef wants to minimize the value of X after performing the operation. So we have to find the value of y so that the value of x becomes minimum after the operation. The test cases are as follows. That is, um, if it's 1, 0, the output is 2. If it's 1, 1, the output is 1. 1, 0, 1, the output is 2. 1, 1, 0, the output is 1. So from the... So sorry. So sorry. So from the test cases, we can find out that... For 1, 0, the output is 2. That is, after the first one, the next one occurs where? That is the next position? No. After the next, po after that position, there is nothing. So we can consider it at 0 or 1. So the 1 occurs over here. So we have to sh uh, go right by two, po two steps. Okay. For 1, 1, its answer is 1 because after 1, the next one occurs over here. For 1, 0, 1, the next one occurs two positions right so that is two for one one zero it occurs just one position right so it's the answer is one so the basically the problem would be the answer would be the code sorry the code would be that is the string we have to append a one at the end of the string and make the length of the string uh, increment the length of the string by one because the string because one has appended to the string so the length will increase by one and initialize the value of, of answer by 1. Okay, now we have to run a loop for int i is equals to from 1 to n i plus plus. If s dot char at that is character at ith position is equals to equals to 1, then we have to break it. Okay, else we have to increment answer by 1 every time and outside of the loop we have to print answer okay now comes about the logic that why this thing is why this thing works so before discussing that i will tell you why we have appended a 1 at the end because in this case as you have seen we don't know what is at the end of this so it's better to append a 1 for every case in case uh, in case we don't have uh, a 1 after the first one so we will have a 1 after the first one okay so this is the basic thing uh, the x by 2 to the power y this is basically the right shift okay this is the right shift so let's consider uh, this 1 0 so to minimize this we have to make this 1 as 0 and to make 1 as 0 we have to find an like uh, we actually can't make this uh, one sec one as we have to minimize the value of x after the operation okay so if this is one zero and we right shift by one it becomes zero one and again right shift it becomes zero zero so if it's zero one the ZOR of these two, it becomes 1-1. One, one. Instead of minimizing this, we have maximized this. That is the thing. But if this is 0-0, zero, zero, the output becomes 1-0. That is this thing. And this is the minimum value that we can get after right shifting it. Okay. So the minimum number of right shift we need is 2. And after that, we will get the value, the same value, which is, which is the minimum. Okay. So the basic idea is when there is a 0 next to it, we have to ab avoid a 1. That is, we have to keep a 0. That is, if there is a 0 over here, we have to bring that 0 to this position. But to implement this, it becomes really tough. So we are implementing that number of 1s, the 1, we have to implement over here. We have to take it outside of the next 0. Okay. So let's consider a tough example that is this one this is a tough example 101 one. okay 
so after one right shift it becomes 0 1 0 after two right shifts it becomes 0 0 1 and after three right shifts it becomes 0 0 0 and this is the this is the maximum number of right shift we can do because after that it becomes 0 0 0 0 0 0 it goes on continuing okay so if we sort these two values we get 1 1 1 if we sort these two values we get uh, 1 0 0 if we sort these two values we get 1 0 1 so the minimum is 1 0 0 right this happens that is we have to shift this one to this position the next one position which we can also write as the shift this zero to the next zero position which basically makes same sense so this is the code for this okay this is a uh, one second and I will border this stuff out okay this is the code for this this is the code for this print the answer okay so this is the code for this that's the explanation simple explanation thank you